Hello, I am Dr. Imran Khan. Today we are going to discuss embedded system design. An embedded system design is a computer system, a combination of computer processor, computer memory, and input-output peripheral devices that has a dedicated function within a larger mechanical or electrical system. It is embedded as a part of complete device often including electrical or electronic hardware and mechanical parts. Because an embedded system typically controls physical operations of the machine that is embedded within, it often has real-time computing constraints. Embedded system controls many devices in common use today. 98% of all microprocessors manufactured are used in embedded systems. Modern embedded systems are often based on microcontrollers. But ordinary microprocessors are also common, especially in more complex systems. In either case, the processors used may be types ranging from general purpose to those specialized in certain class of computation or even custom designed for the application at hand. A common standard class of dedicated processor is the digital signal processors or DSPs. Designing an embedded system. An embedded system is a device or module designed for specific purpose and based on some computation element. So these computation elements are uh, software, uh, modifiable software. One of the key feature of an embedded system is a real-time uh, operation. So here uh, you can see uh, the CPU or central processing unit uh, and this uh, uh, CPU is connected to uh, many other devices. So here uh, uh, you can see uh, the system buses. So it is connected to uh, the different devices via system buses. So here uh, you can see the sensors in the input and actuators at the output and the similarly analog to digital conversion here in the input and digital to analog conversion at the output. Uh, and here uh, you can see many devices here uh, uh, like uh, FPGA, ASIC, software uh, interface to the CPU, memory interface uh, to the CPU and um, similarly many other uh, things like human interface, devices for human interface, uh, diagnostic ports, auxiliary system, power cooling. Uh, so, uh, there are uh, many uh, devices uh, which are connected to uh, the CPU. So, uh, this is an example of uh, uh, the embedded system. So, uh, this is how uh, the embedded system works and uh, this is how uh, you can uh, design the embedded system. So, the definition. Uh, the definition of uh, embedded system is uh, basically a combination of hardware and software which together form a component of a larger machine. So as an example uh, of embedded system, a uh, microprocessor uh, that controls automobile engine. An embedded system is designed to run on its own without human intervention and may be required to respond to events in real time. So here uh, some more detail about the embedded systems. Uh, so uh, embedded system is uh, a special purpose unit. Uh, uh, for example, uh, your uh, simple mobile phone. So the embedded system has a CPU memory and program that control mainly uh, physical things. So these uh, programs are usually pre-installed and uh, you cannot change them easily. So these embedded systems have limited processing power and limited electrical power and uh, limited uh, data storage. 
uh, and obviously these embedded systems have intelligence so it can be configured personalized and uh, uh, can be programmed so um, to know uh, uh, about the embedded system uh, you you should be good in a computer architecture course so uh, if you learn this uh, computer architecture course uh, it will be easier for you to design embedded systems uh, so this is uh, the simple schematic for uh, an embedded system so here uh, you can see uh, the cpu so this cpu is the central processing unit and it is connected to many devices like uh, uh, via these system buses so like uh, uh, this cpu is connected to uh, the permanent memory uh, this program memory the different output devices actuators these input devices and the sensors so these sensors are basically used to measure the physical uh, change in the environment and uh, these actuators are used to control uh, physical things okay so this is uh, the simple schematic of uh, an embedded system uh, so this is uh, the possible uh, um, uh, example of uh, an embedded system so uh, what you need to know uh, to design an embedded system uh, you should be good at digital logic design electrical circuits and computer architecture so these are uh, uh, the basic level course which uh, you should know uh, before taking this embedded system course uh, because this embedded system course is a little uh, um, advanced level course and uh, you need to design uh, something in this course okay uh, so the embedded system uh, so these embedded systems are uh, used everywhere so they have uh, 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 they have the application in automotive industry military uh, and they have many industrial applications they have uh, um, the applications in uh, consumer products uh, in the communication devices like your mobile phone and in the ma medical equipment so because these integrated circuits and these embedded systems are used everywhere so embedded systems are uh, everywhere uh, so these embedded systems are usually um, invisible hidden and these are dedicated purpose yeah so because these embedded systems are usually uh, inside uh, the system and they are hidden and invisible uh, so the possible uh, processors which uh, you can use in the embedded system like this intel 4004 and the, the, there are many other uh, processors of inter these uh, uh, free scale uh, microprocessors and uh, uh, the microprocessors made by these ARM and uh, the microcontrollers. Uh, so these microcontrollers, they have uh, uh, the processor memory and uh, uh, the input output interfaces on the single chips. Okay, so this is uh, the possible example of uh, an embedded system. So they have uh, uh, the process here they have this microcontroller and this microcontroller is having processor ram rom and these are uh, interface to the input output ports uh, these buses are used system buses are used for the interface so here uh, uh, it is um, connected to through an uh, input output port devices uh, the input output ports it is connected to many electrical mechanical chemical or optical devices okay so um, and these analog to digital converter and uh, digital to analog converters are also used in the embedded systems okay uh, so these are uh, possible uh, examples and ex explanation of an embedded system so uh, here i will discuss some example of uh, embedded system so um, uh, one example of embedded system is uh, um, car as an integrated control communication and information system so you already know that in the cars we have these uh, abs gear boxes and this information processing climate control motor control and these all things are uh, controlled by the embedded system inside uh, uh, the vehicle so this vehicle uh, um, especially the modern cars they are uh, 
the good example of an embedded system so here uh, another example of uh, embedded system is in uh, consumer electronics so for example uh, these um, digital cameras and the home electronics like uh, the microprocessor so here you can see uh, uh, here uh, you can see uh, in the camera and the uh, in uh, the home electronics like your microwave oven so they have this user interface processor sensors actuators everything uh, they have inside the system so uh, they are uh, the good example of an embedded system uh, so another good example of embedded system is in the uh, production system uh, especially in the industry uh, so the people working in the industry uh, they know it uh, so uh, here you can see in the industry uh, we have uh, many many motors to control and many uh, equipment and uh, many machines to control so these all are controlled by the uh, modern embedded systems uh, nowadays okay so uh, this is good example of uh, uh, embedded system okay so these embedded systems are also uh, the part of the smart smart world so sometimes uh, denoted as uh, cyber physical system or cps so here you can see here we have this uh, uh, physical world and this is the cyber world okay so uh, these embedded system uh, what uh, how they work uh, uh, they first usually have this observation and then reasoning and deciding so here they have this computation engine and uh, here they, they, they perform this deciding and uh, here influencing the output okay so uh, this all is done uh, via this communication so this communication is uh, done by the system buses okay uh, so these uh, processes may be uh, physical biological social processes everything uh, so these embedded systems are used um, everywhere uh, so these are uh, the part of smart world so uh, they basically use feedback to influence the dynamics of uh, physical world by taking smart decision in the cyber world okay so uh, here i will discuss some characteristics of embedded system so the embedded system uh, must be uh, dependable okay so uh, de de dependability includes uh, reliability uh, maintainability availability safety security everything so rel reliability means um, the probability of system working correctly provided uh, that it was working at time t is equal to zero so this is basically the reliability so the maintainability uh, it is basically the probability of system working uh, correctly uh, at time units after error occurred uh, so availability prob is uh, the probability of system working at uh, any time t uh, so safety um, safety means uh, there is there should no be no harm uh, to be caused and security uh, of course this is important uh, the confidential and the authentic communication so uh, the embedded system must be efficient uh, the efficient means energy efficient uh, code size efficient run time efficient weight and cost efficient so similarly it should be dedicated and uh, it should have dedicated user interface uh, so here i will do some comparison between the embedded system and the, the general purpose computing so in the embedded system uh, there are a few applications uh, that are known at design time so uh, these embedded systems are not programmable by the end user so these embedded systems have a fixed runtime requirement uh, and in the general purpose uh, computing so uh, the, in the general purpose computing they have uh, usually uh, broad class of applications uh, they are easily programmable by the user uh, so in case of general purpose computing uh, the faster uh, 
system is the better one so uh, the criteria for the embedded system is cost power consumption uh, predictability and uh, in the general purpose computing it's cost power consumption and average speed okay so the predictability is important in the embedded system and the speed is important in the general purpose uh, computing uh, so uh, here in the end i will uh, discuss some design challenging uh, challenges so basically optimizing uh, the design matrices so in uh, designing the embedded system the obvious design goals are uh, to construct and implement and implementation uh, with desired functionality key design challenges uh, include simultaneously optimize numerous design matrices so the design uh, matrices uh, a measurable feature of systems implementation optimizing uh, design matrices is a key challenge in uh, the embedded system design so here are the common uh, matrices uh, for uh, uh, optimizing uh, the design matrices in the embedded system so like uh, the unit cost nre or non recurrent engineering cost size performance power flexibility uh, and uh, some other common uh, matrices include time to proto prototype time to market maintainability correctness safety testability manufacturability manufacturability and uh, many more uh, so um, so these are uh, basically uh, the design challenges in uh, embedded system design uh, so today uh, we discussed embedded system design in detail so if you have any question uh, please feel free to contact me via email uh, so this was uh, all for today so uh, okay thank you very much for today see you next time